Any comment while you're waiting for the verdict, Mr. Branch? So the, um, the jury concluded that the defendant was guilty of four counts, two counts of rape of a person under the age of 13, and two counts of aggravated indecent assault of a person under the age of 13. What that means is that the jury concluded that the defendant had sexual intercourse with a child who was only 11 years old multiple times. They also found that the defendant had other sexual contact with the child multiple times. Any reaction to the verdict, Mr. Branch? Any reaction, Mr. Branch, to the verdict? Um, we will be seeking a as long a state sentence as applicable under the law. The maximum penalty he faces for all four counts total is 30 to 60 years. Uh, and the Commonwealth uh, is going to review a specific number, but we intend to ask for a sentence that reflects the seriousness of the crimes that he committed against uh, this young woman all those years ago that she's had to live with for a long time. A child, for a number of reasons that the jury heard uh, evidence about, buried that painful memory and on for a long time and um, today uh, I think was vindicated. I think that the jury recognized, uh, their, their verdict recognizes that she was truthful, honest, forthcoming, had gone through a lot uh, to be here, to go through this process. At that time the victim was willing to break her silence and, and kind of dig up that painful memory because she realized that she had to do it at this point. It wasn't anymore just about herself, it's about protecting other people as well. And that's what she testified about. She talked about how, you know, this wasn't about her personally. I and mean, there is an element that is obviously personal, but she was motivated to protect other members of the public from the defendant. And it was really noble, I think, of her because she put herself through a very difficult process, which included the fact that the defendant represented himself and cross-examined her. I mean, you think about that dynamic, the defendant standing there challenging the victim, the person that he victimized all those years ago, and her sincerity and honest nature really shone through in that moment. Um, I think that what happened today, the result that we were able to bring about, uh, would not have been possible without the dedication of Detective Heather Long from the Pottstown Police Department. Uh, this case, like so many others, um, just goes to show uh, her commitment to seeking justice and supporting victims of sexual violence. Um, she sought out other leads and information in order to corroborate the victim in this case, um, had to travel long distance to meet with witnesses, and the result that we got today would not be possible without her hard work. This is Carl Hessler Jr. reporting for Digital First Media from the Montgomery County Courthouse in Norristown.